guys, Nick here with Gear Nut, and this flashlight is my favorite, favorite work light. You know, there's headlamps and then there's work lights. Well, I tell you what, this little 90 degree tilting head, strong magnetic based light, is definitely my favorite work light. The size of it is very, very useful. You know, the battery run times, the modes, everything is just positive. We'll get into all those specs here in a little bit. But if you're thinking about buying one of these for everyday carry, I probably wouldn't buy it for everyday carry because when you throw it in your pocket, the head does tilt, you know. Um, you do have to push and hold to turn it on instead of just like a quick tap. A quick tap just shows you the battery level, you know. So, but for a work light, this thing is freaking awesome you know there's other better edc lights but this is a fantastic work light i would highly recommend it if you were thinking about buying one of these for a work light or just adding to your collection this thing is freaking sweet so it's got ar coating on the mineral glass lens it has a little crownulation up here it's got a smooth reflector which is kind of a middle ground reflector it's got some spot it's got some spill but it's not a super thrower and it's not a super flood. It's it's a very, very well-balanced light. So that's good for projecting. It'll light up a whole engine compartment if you want it to. And I absolutely love that. So the LED down in there is actually a Cree XP-LHD V6 LED. So it's got a great LED down in there driving it home. The, the battery meter on here is one of the brightest and probably most accurate battery meters I've ever seen. It is off about uh, a tenth of a volt. You know, it does read in tenths of a volt. So, click it once, four blinks, followed by a pause, by one blink. So, four blinks means four volts, then the pause, and that's a tenth of a volt. So, it's 4.1 volts right now. Uh, the battery is a little bit above that, but I have been using it, so it's pretty accurate. Um, if you do run this light and it gets really low on battery, this thing will just sit here and flash. But for the most part, you're not going to see that uh, blinking whatsoever. If you do install your battery right from the get-go, because mine did not come with a battery, so I just took and tossed in my Nightcore 2300 milliamp hour 18650, 3.7 volt, 8.5 watt hours. Um, it does use post top batteries only because there's no dual spring. So that is the one thing I would urge Nightcore to do. I would urge them to put two springs, one on the base tail cap and one on the emitter head or wherever they're mounting inside this body. Two springs, you know, it helps with shock absorption and it allows you to use different types of batteries, almost any battery. So this will use two CR123s as well. It's, it's very, very, very useful. But as you see, there's no dual spring up in there. It's gold plated, square coarse cut threads, anodized. It's got an IPX8 waterproofing and it's got really, really thick O-rings on it. Not worried about that whatsoever. So as soon as you screw this down and the light gets the electricity established, it goes right into battery checking mode, which is pretty cool. You know, it, it tells you what the voltage is of that battery. If you're worried about, you know, your light accidentally turning on, you can turn your tail cap a quarter of a turn and it'll be locked out. It's not going to turn on. As soon as you turn it back, it'll start blinking and let you know what your battery level is. The head of this flashlight also does unscrew and come off. And there's another O-ring in there. So they give you two extra O-rings, a lanyard, and... A little belt pouch which would be very useful if you wanted to keep this from being bashed around inside of a toolbox you know put it in lockout mode stick it in here and toss it in your toolbox that's how I'm gonna be keeping mine <laughs> I absolutely love this I'm probably gonna have to buy another one of these because I can see myself needing two or three of these working on a little different little angles so <laughs> it's freaking awesome so Nightcore store this thing's awesome absolutely freaking love it I would highly recommend you guys check this out. You know, it's it's got a bunch of other things in here too. So let's just go over the settings real quick. Push and hold. Pushing and holding turns the light on and pushing and holding turns the light off. So push and hold turns the light on. 
This is gonna be your ultra low. This is one lumen, it's gonna run for about 700 hours, depending on your battery. Tap to cycle through your modes. This is low, 50 lumens for 25 hours. Tap again, this is your mid setting. This is 190 lumens for seven hours and 30 minutes. Tap again, this is high of 400 lumens. Three hours, 45 minutes runtime, depending on your battery once again. And one more tap, this is gonna be your turbo, 1,000 lumens for an hour. Now, if you turn it off, it's not gonna start back up in, that's my battery thing, I push and hold. It's not gonna start back up in turbo. There's no memory function, but it starts back off in low. I absolutely love that. You're not gonna blind yourself underneath a white hood on a vehicle or a white backdrop. Um, if you do need instant access to turbo, you can take and just press this for about a second and a half and it turns on, led up, and it's in turbo. So instant access to turbo, push and hold, it turns off. There's also instant momentary, which you push and hold, it turns on, and if you hold it for about two and a half seconds, as soon as you let up, it turns off. I use this feature all the freaking time. If I'm wondering if I tightened a fastener or a fixture or if I put a nut on that deep down in the engine compartment, I'll use that. I'll just take and push it, check it out real quick, and then let up and it turns off. <laughs> and it's super, super convenient. Um, strobe warning. This has got a thousand lumen strobe, SOS and beacon. We're going to set those off, so if that, those bother you, just shut your eyes for a minute and just listen to whatever we're saying. So, you tap this quickly three times, and it turns on in strobe. <laughs> thousand lumens. You tap it again, it goes over to beacon, a thousand lumens. Tap it again, it goes into SOS, a thousand lumens. It's nice to have those features, but they're not something I use all the time. So push and hold, it turns off, and push and hold, it'll turn right back on and low which is really, really freaking cool. Um, this thing does have a thousand lumens, so you're gonna run into the temperature issue. And Nightcore has ATR, so it's advanced, advanced Temperature Regulation. So basically what that says is it'll downgrade the light output and keep your battery safe, keep your emitter safe, you know, basically keep your driving board and your LED safe. Last thing you want to do is wreck your Cree LED in here, you know, or get it too hot, have the battery explode. So it's really nice to see those safety features built in, you know, reverse polarity protection. So you can't wreck this light by putting in the battery backwards. Some of the other lights I've looked at over the years have had that. And I'll tell you what, I'm not super stoked when a light doesn't have those features. You know, I kind of expect that nowadays. I like the battery meter, check, got that. I like the Cree LED, check, got that. AR coating, type three hard anodized coating on the outside here, I mean, that's freaking awesome. The knurling, the gripping is very well executed. The magnet, the magnet on this is one of the most powerful magnets I've seen on an 18650 flashlight. It's got a solid mount to your hood, your frame, pipe, an exhaust, anything under your vehicle, this thing seems to attach to it. But one of the features I ran into needing, I didn't even know I could do. You know, you're probably looking and going, yeah, but that weird little bale right here, that little, weird little bale hoop, why in the world would you need that? Well, if you don't like it, it pops off, just like that. Turn it to 90 degrees, pop it off, but I would urge you, if you're gonna use this as a work light, to just kind of live with it, right? But also carry a piece of string or wire. Because every once in a while you're going to drop something into an engine compartment and you're going to need to lower this light in there and pull it out. <laughs> and that's what I found myself doing. You know, if you turn this thing on and you turn it on and into turbo and then you tie your string on here, whenever you lower this down, all of the, the light bouncing off the confined space lights it up so you can look down in there and attach onto your nut, your bolt, your washer, whatever metal object, your screwdriver, whatever you dropped down in there. And I found myself using this light <laughs> for those reasons in my engine compartment and I absolutely was happy. You know, I didn't have to go find and fetch my retrieval tool. Freaking awesome. So. Nightcore, this is an epic, epic light. Absolutely freaking love it. Um, I would not recommend it for everyday carry use, 
but this is a fantastic work light. If you're going to be working on your washer machine or you're going to be working on putting in a water heater or something like that and it's in a dark space or your vehicle, highly recommended for your vehicle, I would tell you guys don't hesitate. Pick one up and buy the best battery you can and this will serve you well. <clears throat> so big shout out and thank you to Nightcore Store for sponsoring this video. <clears throat> I probably have missed some little features but I tell you what, I would highly recommend you guys check this thing out. I absolutely freaking love it. You know, it comes with extra O-rings, wrist lanyard, <clears throat> and this little pouch with a D-ring on it. And I would buy one of these again. I'm probably going to be buying another one and putting one of these in each one of my toolboxes. So, that's what I got. Let's take this thing out in the backyard and check it out. If you're th still thinking about buying one of these, use the links in the description box below. Help support my channel and help support videos like this. So, but let's go, let's go light the backyard up with this and show you what the modes look like. So stay tuned. All right, so we're out in the backyard with the Nightcore MT21C. Kind of a different name, but yeah, it's, a, it's a great light. Don't let that fool you. So this is your lowest setting, you know, definitely enough. You can navigate around. Not a lot of people are going to see it. It's definitely a dim, dim light. I can see, I don't know, about 10, 10 feet, 12 feet-ish out in front of me camera's not picking it up the greatest but it's definitely there it's definitely a really nice low um, next setting up <laughs> it just got done raining so probably going to be able to pick up some of this water droplets reflecting back at me but uh picnic table for size size reference i guess there's my grill beat up grill you can actually see out to the shed right now already and this is just notch two notch three that's going all the way over to the house It definitely definitely has some throw has some spill it's right in the middle you know it's not a super thrower it's not a super flood it's right in the middle um, notch four <laughs> and that starts lighting up the whole tree right up here you know camera's not picking up all of the spill camera's just picking up the hot spot but you can see on the corner of my garage right over here that it's actually spilling all the way over to my garage and all the way over to my neighbor's garage so um, notch five this is turbo <laughs> it's got it, it lights the whole backyard up so a great outdoor light a great edc light but i think that this is going to be my mechanic light this thing is just so freaking useful when you're working on a car if you know a do-it-yourselfer or a mechanic or a weekend mechanic Definitely, definitely introduce him to this Nightcore MT21C. This thing is freaking awesome. That tilting head is just one of the best features. I wish I would have found it years ago. So, but anyhow, I'm going to go inside. It's a little wet, and it's probably going to start raining again. So, a bunch of clouds up overhead. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks again to Nightcore Store for sponsoring the video, sending this thing down. I would highly recommend you guys go check this thing out. Tons and tons of features, but it is a fantastic mechanic light. It's definitely a light designed for under a hood. So that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll check you guys later.